you think? Good. Good. Morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, June 21st, 2017, and I'm headed into work for the day. And what's new? Not a whole lot, man. I was so tired last night. I literally fell asleep on the front room floor on the hard ground or the carpet, I guess. And uh, yeah, I slept really well last night. And just overall, I'm just tired. I wish I wasn't sick. It's um, not fun. Not fun at all. Uh, so today at work, we have one guy coming to finish installing the Cisco switches that we were working on yesterday. We have two IBM guys that'll be there to install a bunch of their stuff. We have um, <clears throat> two cable contractors on site. And I think that's it. I think. Data center is a complete mess from yesterday. Uh, I'm going to work on picking that up this morning. Civic ICO drops in 35 minutes. I'm actually hoping I can get to work right shortly around 8 o'clock. So I can uh, buy in. Planning on buying in somewhere around 0.6 Ether. So, I don't know. Somewhere around 200 bucks. I'm hoping. Uh, I'm not sure if that, that math is right or not. 0.6 of 350 bucks is whatever. Um, trying to figure out what else is going on. So, I don't know. It looks like Ripple held roughly uh, about the same last night. I haven't quite confirmed that, but I'll look into that when I get into the office. And uh, so that's that's good. It's a good thing. So not a whole lot else going on. So I had um, provisioned one ether for Hive. I want to say it was. I got in at the Hive uh, pre-sale, and I I don't know what I'm getting out of Hive. So I know for 10x it's going to be one one pay p a y per. Let me think about this. Basically, per dollar. So um, they said one ether is worth 350 pay, and one ether right now is currently worth 350 dollars. So um, I guess that's good. You know, if the value of ether goes up, then uh, each pay is going to be uh, worth a substantial amount. So I'm trying to determine if I want to do like five or ten um, ether into. Uh, 10x so I'm not sure yet I, I might do like an even amount or something like that so maybe like six uh, six or ten but uh, I don't know have to uh, still think about that so that that drops Saturday morning um, I'm only making back less than two ether a month so I probably shouldn't drop 10 ether on one ICO plus that's a lot of money 10 ether is uh, almost $4,000. So maybe I just made up my mind right there. So um, maybe I'll do, like I said, five or six. Uh, I did get another 1070 yesterday delivered. Uh, I'm going to try to get it connected up tonight, I'm thinking. I haven't really had any time for anything. Um, so tonight is kind of like my only free night, so I wanted to maybe go get some groceries. I need to go all the way over to Napa and pick up an uh, air filter for my car that I bought on s Sunday, was it? I think it was Sunday. No, Saturday. And then um, <clears throat> I need to kind of just pick up the house and stuff like that. I, I don't know. I just I want to get this miner up and running and it's gonna just take a little bit of time. So if I go over by Vicky's tonight, it'll be like later tonight. Otherwise, um, I need to uh, 
just get a lot of stuff done. So much stuff to do all the time and I'm never home, so. Never home when I don't have Grant, let me put it that way. So, that's about it. That's kind of everything, it's just a brain dump. But, uh, the photo shoot that we were supposed to have on Saturday, Vicky's gonna watch Grant for me and uh, or hang out with him. And Luke was telling me that the guy is like an hour, or the shoot's like an hour and a half away. So that's like three hours of driving. And I'm just not like, I don't even know. Like, because I have Grant and my parents are at home and stuff like that, I'm gonna need to bring probably my own car. In case of an emergency or anything like that, I'm gonna have to just leave, drop everything and go, and Luke will have to finish it out. But, uh, yeah, so, that's about it, guys. Stay tuned for more. All right, all right, so check this out. I'm, like, losing my stuff because work is so crazy here. Uh, it's been an interesting day. Got a lot done, but, man, I'm beat. Look at all of this stuff that is just everywhere. You gotta clean, organize, get all of this crap put away. Look at all these boxes. Look at all these boxes. Look at all this trash. Random servers just laying about. Cardboard. More cardboard. It's just out of control. Bag of trash. Steel. Random stuff. Pallet of decom servers. Bin of power cables. Bin of Cat 5, Cat 6 cables. Random crap everywhere. A pile of steel underneath that. These racks still have just destroyed. Oh look, another pile of steel. An entire pallet of just crap. Pile of servers. Decommissioned servers. Floor tiles. Cut floor tiles. Two racks that we removed yesterday. More just random servers sitting about. I'm just like a, a, a just a, you know a door okay yeah we got a door and what is this I mean huh we got two pallets outside of stuff three pallets actually I I, I just I'm just lo I'm losing my mind there's it's just too much too much so I'm gonna spend some free time this week like tomorrow Friday each day whatever and start um, fixing this this is this is bad I don't like it all right guys where do I start so um, work has been hell this week today whatever we're getting through it making progress um, this morning um, I wanted wanted to invest in an ICO it's called civic um, public identified uh, identification via blockchain something or other it seemed like a like a popular idea I was gonna invest like 0.6 ether uh, maybe like 200 bucks and call it a day the uh, the ICO kicked off at 8 o'clock. I got into work maybe about 8.10. And by the time I dropped off my lunch at the uh, refrigerators that we have upstairs. And then made it down to the data center and all that and logged in. It was like 8.20, maybe 8.22. And I logged in first thing, like right away. I'm like, alright, I got to do this right away. It's going to be popular. I go to buy into the ICO and they have a queue system, okay? I was number 12,000 and something. 
There was over 12,000 people in line ahead of me to buy into this ICO. It said, your wait is going to be more than an hour. I was like, okay. Sign up for email alerts when it's your turn. So I did that. I'm working all day, checking on it periodically. You just left the uh, the tab open. And, you know, I'm watching. They have a $33 million cap for their ICO. And I'm, like, watching throughout, like, the morning. And, like, they have a progress bar. And it's, like, moving and moving and moving. And it's, like, uh, like 27 million have been sold out of 33 million. And there were still, like, 6,000 people in front of me. And I was like, what the hell is going on? So... I, um, I'm like doing the math and stuff. I'm like, all right, well, if someone, if, if 6,000 people buy the maximum, um, I might just barely make the ICO and I'm like trying to figure this all out. So like when I first started, uh, or got in line, it said that, um, it said, t uh, packages of up to $2,500 are available for purchase. Okay. And then after a couple hours, it says, all right, packages are now max $1,000 per purchase. I was like, all right. So by the time I got in, it took four hours for the queue to process through and for me to get my turn. The max um, buy-in was 500 bucks. So their options were $100, $250, or $500. And I was like, oh, man, I didn't really want to spend 250. I wanted to spend like around 200. So instead of investing about like 0.6 ether, I ended up investing like 0.81 ether. Whoop de do. Um, yeah, yeah. So that was around like 12, 15, 12, 20 or so. And it's six o'clock, and the transaction, my transaction, still hasn't cleared on the blockchain. I noticed this happened with the, not Hive, but, uh, oh man, what was the other ICO that I bought into? One of the other ICOs, I was like, man, it's like not going through. What's going on? So hours go by. It's like 4 or 5 p.m. People are posting that like Ether is tanking. Like the entire market today is like pretty down. It's been a red day today. But like Ether was doing some weird shit, man. It was below 300 bucks again today. It freaking um, spiked, and this happened one other time, and I've I've vlogged about it. It spiked and went down to like seventy four dollars for like one tick of the stock ticker. So something's going on. But but uh, Civic had their ICO today, and they sold upwards of thirty million. Last I checked. But Status did their ICO today as well. Um, Status had over $200 million sold today. So all these transactions kicked off on the same day at the same time. And the blockchain is just like completely fucked right now. So, you know, I'm like thinking more and more. I'm like, you know what? I got to start locking in profits. That's what it comes down to. Like if I'm making profits or gains, I got to lock them in. I'm, I'm done fucking around. Like I got to start making money because I'm like, I'm like holding forever for what? Like if I'm already making profit, lock it in and then I can hold the uh, extra or whatever, or at least lock in the principal. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm going to cash out this humanic, uh, ICO. Um, their ICO I spent 28 bucks on, and it's worth around 200 bucks now. I'm like, that's good. I'm cool with that. So um, I went to do a transfer from uh, my Humanic wallet into a my Ether wallet. Same shit though. I just got stuck, and it says pending. What is going on? So that's when I made a, a Facebook post online and I said guys is anyone else experiencing like slow issues with the ether blockchain today and someone's like well between uh they they said it status is ICO is killing everything and I was like okay and they made a good point they said it's the uh, gas fees are so high on these ICOs that it's killing everything else off so I didn't even think about that so I'm going to do some research but for every transaction there's a gas fee 
and normally like the gas fees like twenty one thousand or something like that. I think for Civic they t they had to set it to like two hundred fifty thousand or something. So I'm guessing I don't know, but I'm guessing that when you up the gas fee, that's you basically saying I'm willing to pay more gas to push this transaction through or my transaction through faster. So like these ICOs because their ga their transact their gas fees are higher their gas settings I'm guessing that they're gonna have to they're gonna the blockchain itself or the system itself is gonna process those transactions first over everything else uh, I don't know if that's true or not I'm gonna research it more but you know I, I'm realizing now that pretty much all ICOs that I've been doing they've been telling you to bump up the, the gas fee so um I know in Civic's ICO white paper, they said, you know, we have to get confirmation of your, your buy-in within six hours. If we don't get confirmation, you're not granted your Civic tokens or whatever. And that's, I don't see how they're going to be able to enforce that because everything's hosed up, everything's locked up, nothing's processing. The entire blockchain is fucked. Um, Poloniex is on fire right now because... Like, no one can trade any ether or anything. Um, it, it's, it's nuts. It's nuts. So, um, but I was thinking about it. Like, so everything's starting to tank. So Ripple was at, like, 31 cents for the last day. And I was like, fuck yeah. You know, it, it made it through the night. It was, like, 30 cents, 30.5 cents this morning. I'm like, all right, well, maybe this is it. It's going to start bouncing up. Well, just like everything else, it started to go down. I'm like, all right, dude. I'm, I'm done messing around. Like... So I sold my Ripple today at 27 cents um, and 27 point something cents. And I set an automatic buy-in or buy-back originally at 25 cents. And then I was like, you know what? The market is so fucked right now because of this blockchain stuff. I ended up lowering it. So I changed it to 24.5 cents. So I sold at 27 and something and I'm gonna buy back in at 24.5 cents. Um, that's gonna gain me because of the number of shares, um, like 175 to $200 uh, 